Hey, it's me again, and this time we're talking about post-workout. So when do you need the post-workout shake? So you've exercised. Well, firstly, it depends on the type of exercise that you've done. If you've done an hour's session of high intensity, so you've exert exerted the muscles and you've exerted your heart rate, yes, you require a post-workout shake in order to help you recover and to... Um, help you protect your um, immunity to build up your immune system. So you need this within 45 minutes. In fact, within 20 minutes of training is ideal. So best for you to carry that post-workout shake with you and have it straight away um, as soon as you finish training. If muscle is one of your focuses, um, then yes, 100%, you'd most certainly need to have that post-workout shake. So within 20 to 45 minutes, your post-workout shake will include um, the largest portion of protein, which I've told you what your scoop size is, and you can have coconut water with that. Coconut water is, is great post-workout, however, pre-workout, not as good. So rather keep your coconut water for post-workout when you require that sugar and you require the electrolytes. And then, of course, you need a fruit. So if you've done an hour's training, you need um, to have a fruit with that post-workout shake. Um, you can either eat it or you can make a smoothie with it. Um, berries are always best, however, any sort of fruit will do. You can either eat it or put it in your smoothie. Um, if you do, for example, if you're training for marathons and you actually train over an hour, you need an additional piece of fruit for every um, hour after that. So it would be, if it was two hours of training or an hour and a half to two hours of training, you would require two fruits. Um, so you actually need the fruit sugar then and that when that is the best time for you to have your fruit. So fruit you have twice a day, that is first thing in the morning because you've been fasting or not, so you require that sugar. And the next time you would have that is post-workout. If you train twice in a day, so say you train in the morning and you train in the evening, you will require two post-workouts. However, you won't require two pre-workouts if you, um, because pre-workouts only required after having slept, then you require that pre-workout. Remember that you always have a protein with a fruit. So if you're making your um, protein shake, you have your protein and you have your fruit that lowers the glycemic index of the fruit and regulates your blood sugar levels. So I hope that's answered your question about the post-workout shake.